Okay, so welcome to Koma, Koma Club Live Town Hall meeting. Someone meetings. said it's being fine a requirement to join Koma Club. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yes, actually, if it is. Anybody who appreciates all things black, and uh, black culture. You're welcome. Yeah. Who said that? <laughs> Bye. No, come back here. Okay, if you appreciate black culture, you appreciate, you appreciate everything um, African. Uh, everything Nigerian. Yeah, that's what Koma that's Club, what is, Koma about. Club is all about. African, so, Nigerian, you're Black welcome Pride. To you're the welcome. Tribe. You're wel- this is my hug, my virtual hug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, before further ado, uh, let's welcome you the Koma Club way. The, okay. um, so all last the week, meetings. last week, yeah, yeah we did the camera. Okay. We did Fulani. I learned f- Fulani. Let me see if I remember it. Jack Bama. Jabama is Fulani. Jabama is Fulani for welcome. Usuna um, Shili. Usuna Shili. Kyoba. Okay, that's Kyoba for welcome. Mm-hmm. Um, who else did we do last week? Yeah, we did Amedi. That's Amedi Ibibio. For Ibibio. Yes. We, we, are we adding anything this week? Yeah, this week we're adding something for our Ghanaian audience because we know we have a Ghanaian audience. <laughs> So Aquaba, Aquaba, yes, yeah, Aquaba. Today is 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 Winnie in the house. I don't know if I don't know if Winnie is today. here, but Winnie, if you're here, we learned this for you, for you, for your sake. So yes. Aquaba is welcome in Twi. Okay, so let's just get into it. Right? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, so today's topic. Today's topic. Yo, we is... have a pin question. Please help us answer that question. Would you date or marry someone outside, outside your, your ethnicity? ethnicity? Yes. That's the question. We're interested. In I really I out. really want to know because we're going to be finding out from our guests. What, what do you what do you think? Would you? I'm already married outside of my ethnic group. So I mean I'm the authority on this. <laughs> <laughs> the author- well, I said I'm any, the authority. Anybody. Mm-hmm. So what audience, about you? It's my turn to ask you now. So first of all. <laughs> Are you dating? Are you single? I mean, people need to know out there in case someone wants to shoot their shots. Let's well, know. well, let's leave that for. Eh, 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 beg. I'm sorry, <laughs> if I you waste people's time here, yeah. you know who you, you shoot your shots. Apply within anybody outside the okay, ethnicity. Okay, fine. Would now. you outside your ethnicity? Yes, especially outside. Oh, so Bunye is open to this, okay? Yeah, Bunye is open. To marrying someone outside her ethnic group, she's yeah. Igbo mixed with a bit of a bibio. So, so I, I'm, I'm also intercultural, like <laughs> my are. way. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, um, before we, life. before we call, before we call our, our yes. speaker for today, our guest for today, I want to, I want to even just, you know, like kind of lay a foundation about today's topic. Mm. Um, I believe in one thing. Okay that um nigeria more than anything needs a lot of integration we need yeah. to unite and um we are just this like big jollof of different i like to call Ooh, it a jollof, jollof. of different nigerian jollof. Ni- <laughs> different <laughs> tribes different um you know religions and if ever if you've watched the documentary i don't know if you ever watched the documentary um on netflix is a journey of an african colony oh, yeah you would see that we were just put together by the colonial masters yes, okay pretty much but it was nigeria was not nigeria as a country as mm-hmm. a whole it was a collection of different different tribes, ethnic groups and ethnic tribes groups. that were brought together for the purpose of you know just their um what do you call the administrative mm-hmm. it was a, an administrative convenience mm-hmm. where they put this tribe together that one that one okay and and it was also a up. business thing it was a business decision yeah so more than ever we need to unite yeah. because we we're, to. we're together like we've been together for over 100 years yes so, so there's nothing we can do at this, at this point, point we need to make this jollof taste and work like nigerian jollof yes <laughs> so um <laughs> One of the ways that we could integrate, one of the ways is through marriage. Intercultural marriages, marriages exactly. Yes. And from my own end, what I see is, I don't know, you can add that. And one of the reasons why we're talking about this today is because we found out that the youth may not necessarily have a problem marrying with among themselves. Yeah. But some, you know, factors are mitigating against... Let's you know call them happening. factors. Let's let's just say they are factors. 
let's just call it factors yes. yes let's not say anything you don't want to be pointing fingers you know whose house you're going like back to. i know so let me just say factors <laughs> So but that is what it is really that yeah. is what they is. they wouldn't want you to once it's someone outside of your tribe and i'm not i'm going to start saying they mm-hmm. but these factors mm-hmm. and it, i'm not certain like what is the reason because there's often not a cogent reason it's often stereotypical mm-hmm. so they say these people they are like they this are like this mm-hmm. Yoruba people, hmm. they do this, hmm. or Igbo people, mm-hmm. they do this, like that, like that. So it's often just a stereotype, and it it doesn't help. I mean, we talked about cultural awareness last mm-hmm. week. Mm-hmm. One of the things we talked about is understanding people for who they are mm-hmm. and accepting, being able to accept their culture, not just yours, but understanding your identity and understanding them yes. and being able to work alongside it. Mm-hmm. But there seems to be that whole well, we're willing to but we don't want to mix with them and so sure so we only mix in the marketplace yes we are only friends for convenience for when it's convenient when it's convenient and i don't even know why it's inconvenient during marriage like, okay we're jumping the gun <laughs> let's invite our guest so that <laughs> hi Kimaya. so that we can hello 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 so so far we have nine people on our live Mm-hmm. and so you can screenshot this put this on your stories and tell people to come and join because okay. this is going to be a very bomb conversation yes so let's invite so abu are you in please request call in. In. request to join us yes. and then we'll add you so we can start okay but you know what before he before his request comes in let's just keep this conversation going so yeah. um the thing about stereotypes you know mm-hmm. that you've heard about languages I hate to be the one to say this, but you hear things like ah, da, 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 da. it's always very sentimental. It's based on individual. It's not even objective. It's subjective. Yeah, exactly. And one thing I, I just wanted to say before, you know, yeah, the request is in. Aww. Okay, let's go. Can't wait to see Abu. Hi, Abu. Abu. Maybe Abu's connection. Yes. Connection. Oh, Hello. Hi. 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 Welcome to Coma Club Live. Coma Club Elders. I, I greet you. Delighted to see you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super happy to be here. I'm super happy to be here. Thank you for yes, having me. Yes, we are happy to see you too. Wow. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. We're yeah. excited. I, I, you, you, you guys look lovely. Oh, super thank amazing. you, Abu. Thank you. Thank you. You do too. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. I'm from I tried. Beard, I tried. Beard gang. I love. I, you I'm beard. from Beard gang. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually for a mustache, not beard gang. Mustache? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, 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 we're not welcome, whining. We're not whining. Anyway, welcome to welcome. guys today. Thank you. So, I'm going to you. let you introduce yourself in a minute, mm-hmm. but Madame will just okay. a little bit of why she brought you up here in the first place. Okay. Okay, sure, so, sure. Abu, the reason why, for all anybody viewing this, the reason why you're the ideal person for this conversation, which, you know, we, when we're talking about intercultural marriages, is because culture has so many facets mm. and in nigeria the two dominant facets that really you know when i was talking about lines dividing us as nigerians mm-hmm. cultural lines right. are religion right. and ethnicity right. ethnicity yes yeah so mm-hmm. you are the you are the product of one of such um, um you know marriages and it was uh, such a beautiful one and mm-hmm. you know we need to tell abu you know um send our condolences to you he lost his dad three weeks ago so abu sorry our hearts go to you yeah. and your family thank you may so god comfort you. you and may so rest in peace yes yeah. yeah. so, thank you so much. um you know okay. seeing that your dad was 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 such you know you know that kind of person who was able to mingle we yeah. decided okay you know what abu mm-hmm. will be the, the perfect, the perfect person, person to yeah. know to explain to us what his own experience about being in an intercultural okay. home yeah. is. So I'm not going to go into introducing who your parents are or what you just yeah come you do us that, with that for us. Yeah. So introduce yourself, please. Okay. 
So thank you for having me, Kamal Club. My name is R uh, Abu Bakar Chukwu Emeka Adamubu. Um, I wow. hail from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. So I hail from a village yeah, like called you Mandara. Abu Bakar Chukwu Emeka. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. Right, but it's okay. Oh. It's okay. Some people see me; they don't even think I'm from the north. You know, maybe it's because of the style of captain or whatever. But I don't know. You know, some people think I'm northern, yeah. but it's all good. Um, right. Yeah. Right. So I hail from um, so a village family. called. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm from Mandara Girl. Mandara. Go on. Go on. We're listening. Right. Um, okay. okay. So we'd like to know. Yeah. Right. My maternal side is an oh, local wow. government in Delta State. Yes. In so, what state? Delta. Wow. So you're a combo of Medukuri, yes. Mandiri local government. And and I got in Delta State. Pretty much. Okay. Wow. So I'm going by the patri patriarchal system, or rather the patrilineal system. Sorry. Yes. You are you are from Meduguri. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That that you see. I have <laughs> okay, and then daddy is what religion? Oh, I've seen some Meduguri people screaming, yes though. <laughs> He's your brother, yes. Heal yes. him, heal him. Okay. So what what um um religion I also understand is a factor here in the <laughs> You see this thing, eh? <laughs> This is tribalism. But would like to know the religion of the religion of your both dad parents and yeah. your mom. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. A pastor. Oh wow. Okay. So basically he's he's mixing both religion and, and ethnicity. ethnicity. Uh, I, and uh, what, the one thing that we would like you to, to tell us right now, okay, is um we want you to answer the trivia. Yes, uh, we actually want you to he actually, he actually did most of them. He told yes. us about, you know, where he's, he's from and okay, all that. Abu is like hanging right now. Oh. And his network is a little messy. Hello, Abu. Abu, can you hear us? Abu, say hello if you can hear Sorry, us. Sorry, guys, if you can hear. Okay, okay. So, okay. okay. So, please, can you... Because the audience goes, I can't hear you. The audience are saying they can't really hear you. <laughs> we can see you, we can hear you. But okay, we lost him again. Yeah. Oh. You try to give us very curt answers, okay? Yeah. Okay, someone is saying maybe you should go off and come back on. Okay, can you try that? Can you try going off and coming back on? All right. Okay, I will please go off and come back please. on. Thank you. Oh, this conversation was just about getting started. Yeah, it was, it was, it was getting so interesting. Okay. Well, yeah. So, in case I was saying, I was about to say something, um, yeah. you know, earlier about about um, 
what I feel about intercultural relationships is this. There are good and bad people everywhere. Yeah, true. Ethnicity has got nothing to do with, with you being wherever you think. I've had this stereotype where people say, oh, you know, um, he's, he's calling back again. Okay. You hear people say things like, oh, um, um, these people are like this. Yeah. And then you don't meet people, Those people from that same I probably the most amazing I will welcome okay. back. Hi. Hi can back. everybody hear me now? Can yes, everybody hear can. me now? Awesome. Yes, we can. Okay, good. You're awesome. more you're more fluid. You're not like yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. So I hope Thank everybody you. can hear. Please can just you have right now. I hope so. Can. I hope so. Okay, great. Good. So we're having one yes, and that's good. Let's let's get let's get to it. Okay, so Abu, we want you to do our trivia. Yeah. So if, you, okay. if this is your first time on the live, we do something called Coma Club trivia. Yeah. Okay. So you've answered awesome. most of the questions. Right. You've answered your state of origin, and the local government that you're from, from one side. Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. yeah. So now you're going to answer for us from both sides, from your father's side and your mother's side. So how hey, much is given, much is required. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. What I do? Yeah, how? You know, mix bridge. Exactly. Yeah, no, so let's let's go. Let's tell go. Us your mother's village mm -hmm. as well. Right. You're right. also yes. You're also going to tell us the name of two prominent. Okay, let's make it one. One prominent person from Bornu State or from your local mm -hmm. government, and one mm -hmm. prominent person from Delta State and your child or from and your child local government. So, go ahead. Okay. So, uh, first question was. Welcome. Yeah, you're supposed to tell us welcome in your language. Mm. Welcome. Welcome. Which one do you want? Do you want good morning or do you want good afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, okay, wow. Wow. Ah, because because that, that place that place na, na strong village. That place is a very thick <laughs> village. And you, you can you can forgive me. You can forgive me because I'm this is very to active now. No, 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 no. Delta. Delta. It is Delta. Delta. Ogeneo. Ogene. Dalu. Uh-huh. That one they understand. Uh, in in, in, in Babur. In Babur, we say we say we say Girpia or we say Girpocha. Girpia is good morning. Gir, Girpocha is good afternoon. And in Adamawa, I'm sure you are married to, to an Adamawa man, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and yes. Zama, yes. So in Adamawa, they also speak Babur. So yeah, okay. that's fun fact. Oh, yes, oh, they do. Okay, thank you. All right. And then no, um, what else? Prominent people. So uh -huh. <laughs> I did a bit of research and I found. There was this um, Dr. Bukar Usman, who used to be, um, he retired from the presidency as a permanent secretary, right about 99, right? Okay. He's from Borno South as well. So, I mean, he's from, we, we have the intellectual guys, right? <laughs> now, from my mom's side, wow, wow, I, mean, wow, so I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Alpha, I want to have Okay, from okay, Delta State, give us that one. From, from, from Delta, there's a former attorney general, right, from my mom's village. He's um, late Michael Agbamucha also. I think oh, I think okay. I pronounced his name well, yes. So he's from my mom's okay. uh, village. Yeah, I've tried okay. now, I've tried. Clap for me. Clap. Okay, well, you, 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 did, well. you did well. Let's, please, just clap for Abu in the comments. Okay. Okay. He has tried. Yeah, okay, true. cool. So now that yeah. we've done our trivia, we'll move on to the yeah. more serious question. You're now questions, welcome okay? to the Club tribe. Absolutely. We are very Absolutely. delighted to have you. Yeah. But the first thing we want to know is, what did it feel like growing up in an intercultural home? You know, yeah. just tell us what it was like, yeah. generally. Um, so there is the ethnicity component of it, and there's the religious component of it, right? Mm -hmm. So from the, ethnic, from the ethnic standpoint, you have... Um, you have, um, what's it called? A mesh, right? First of all, I grew up in Lagos, right? So Lagos already, we know, is a hub, right? Of um, very different cultures, very different ways of doing things, right? Um, mm -hmm. You have 
a very um, convenient integration of so many people, right, with their ways of doing things. And what you have is, um, at the end of the day, you are subject to to choice, right? And mm -hmm. you also have prime examples at home. Children basically learn from their parents, right? You soak up whatever your parents give you. And yeah. fortunately for me, my, my parents um, were pretty much exposed. I mean, I can go through my grandma's line. I mean, my, my maternal side, for example, um, my grandmother, right, was, um, her father was Yoruba. Her mom was from the Mingi um, kingdom in River State. And she was oh, born in Enugu. Wow. Yes, wow. she's a brass wow. princess. So she grew up in wow. Enugu and then she moved around and eventually settled in Lagos. And she married a Delta, right? Wow. Now, exactly, which does the Delta Igbo component, right? And then yes. uh, my dad's. Equally, my dad's side, uh, you know, there's a bit of the Sudanese blood there. There's a bit of, uh, you know, some exposure. My dad had his primary education in Abel Kuta, right? And then he moved around. He went to the East as well. And then, mm -hmm. you know, it was after his, he attended the School of Basic Studies in ABU. And from there, mm -hmm. he went um, abroad as a, to, as a cadet, right, to become a master mariner. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's exactly what it is. So you combine that exposure, that level of exposure in that mm. kind of environment, coupled with, you know, um, um, influences from cousins or from friends or from, you know, school or whatever, what you have is an array of, of options. So many things. Right? Yeah. Exactly. You have a very vast array of options. So we were not. Uh, it's, it's a very, it's a very wonderful part of Yes, I'm very single. Very, very what? single. You sound, did you know you said this part of Jolof? It's like you shot, you shot yourself. Like, like we, we can talk. Like we can talk. <laughs> we can talk. <laughs> eh? okay. we, can, we can talk after, after this. After all this, we can talk. No, okay. Allah. <laughs> Very fast, you know. We don't, no loud down, no loud down, no loud down. That's many people watching. No loud down. Yeah. Okay, that must so, have been interesting, like growing up right. with all those influences. Mm -hmm. But how do you think it shaped your um, experiences? Like, did you need to have experience one? Like, how was it direct, direction wise? You know, um, based on what religion would you choose? What um, what ceremonies would you celebrate? All those sort of things. How was that for you? Okay, okay so early on, um, um, I like to go with the general assumption that children are naturally closer to their mothers, right? So mm -hmm. my mom, you know, being a, um, a practicing, what do you call it, a practicing Christian, right, mm -hmm. exposed me very early to me and my siblings, right, to the Bible, you know, and... Um, some parts of the Torah, she wasn't so deep with it, but I took it upon myself to do that exploration, that level of exploration, mm -hmm. and I still read it till now, which, you know, um, you know, a lot of Christians do, but no <laughs> shade, no nothing, right? <laughs> now, um, wow. it's true, but it's true. So anyway, um, um, as I grew, you know, again, um, you know, religion is, is a very key component when it comes to culture. And you begin to yeah. think that, um, especially as a guy, as a, as a male child, you want to begin to lean at some point towards your father's side. And you're now thinking, mm -hmm. why, does he, why, does he, why does he pray the way he does? You know, why is it that these guys are talking in Arabic and I don't even understand the word that they're saying? And mind mm -hmm. you, my mother was the one who decided to get us, you know, get us to go to Islamia. Right? Oh, wow. My mom... Yes, she was the one who wow. got us to go to Islam. Yeah. She was the one who got us, um, you know, uh, malams, private malams. Oh, oh. Nepa. Nepa, why? Why? Well, there we go. So, guys, um, if you're joining from any other part of Africa, I think we're getting him back for the world. Why? This is what we get. Are you Nigeria. serious? I'm like, I froze. Like, I froze with the light. It's like, <laughs> sorry. I hope, I hope this light comes back on. I, I do hope so. No, no it's I hope we can it's actually it's hear you and it's not so terrible. It's definitely, don't worry. It's definitely going to come back. It's, they're, they're turning on the gen. But anyway. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, so, 
So where was I? Religion, right? So again, I'm mm-hmm. thinking, why all this Arabic? And I don't understand the word. I don't understand what you know what these guys are saying. Yeah. And I took the initiative to do research by myself. I wasn't trying to be indoctrinated into believing anything. And thankfully, because of the yay, light is back. And thankfully, because of the um, <laughs> level of exposure my parents had, right? Because of the level of exposure my parents had, right? I'm telling you, Nigerians can embarrass you. I'm telling you. But anyway, I was trying so hard. I'm to telling you. I'm telling you. They had to do it. They just had to do it. Clap for Nigeria. Clap for Nigeria. It's like we forgot Nepal for a minute, and it's like, like how dare you? Exactly. You're still in I'm Nigeria. Telling you. I'm telling you. So yeah. Um, yeah. But- um, Again, because of the level of um, what do you call it? Yeah, so because of the level of um, exposure my parents had, right? There was never any, you know, forceful, you know, thing. It was you do your what do you call it, do your um, your own bit of research, right, and know what your truth is, mm-hmm. right? You know, and my parents were yes. super respectful yes. of each other to allow us the platform, you know, to be able to do what we needed to do to be our own individuals, right? So I I did my yes. research and I found out that you know I found comfort in Islam right and um that's what I chose but yes. still still in in yes. being it, it, again I'd like to use this platform for the little min- minutes I have available to make people understand yes. that look the, the real religion of everybody right is is love that is it in the biblical context mm-hmm. if you check Right what it is is Jesus said right he asked the person he said um what the, he asked the Jew what the most important command was to him from God and yes. it was love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your strength and your might mm-hmm. right and Jesus mm-hmm. gave him a more Jesus said a more important command I give to you which is to love your neighbor as yourself yes right? exactly and it's the same concept in Islam right in mm-hmm. sense that before In, in being a muslim you must you you cannot you can't be a muslim first off if you do not believe in christ if you don't acknowledge him you understand mm-hmm. 33 mm-hmm. books 33 chapters of the quran are dedicated to christ yeah for example right his mother mary has one whole chapter committed to her not there is even in the bible there is a book that's committed to mary you get what i yes. mean but this is not even yeah. the debate this is just to show you the links between yes between the christianity two. and islam yeah right so i found for example that in being i would be i would only be more of a muslim if i respected and if i you know accepted other religions as far as yes. semitic religion judaism oh. and christianity exactly yeah. so and that's that was the environment i grew up in that's also what i chose to believe because you know abu it's, right abu yeah man I really love that before I even got to the second question you had already touched on, on it, it immediately yeah. like you had even gone into it yeah. like deeply so right. what I'm what I'm getting from what you're saying here which and what I really got which made a whole lot of uh, meaning for me was the fact that you can see that there is respect mm. there is respect yes, between your parents yeah yes there is that's respect me. between your parents because your mm. mom was a christian and mm. understanding they, they, they obviously loved each other yeah. for your mom to be able to say yes regardless regardless i will that. teach mm. my children to respect my my husband's faith mm-hmm. even if i am different yeah. mm-hmm. i will teach my yeah. children i will still expose that you can see that there was this there was an openness there was an openness right. yeah. in the home right. and the willingness right. to understand to understand and respect exactly. each other Yeah, yeah, that's fundamental. Formula, to be very that's honest. Yeah. I that's think that's fundamental. Yeah. yeah. It's not negotiable. Well, we would also like to know what you liked the most growing up with that sort of environment. I mean, if you compare yourself to other kids that you were with, what was it like? Like what what did you feel like, "Oh, I have this thing that you know others didn't have." What was your advantage? If I summed it up to one word, it would be freedom. Hmm. Okay. That's yeah, that's actually that. a very surprising one. I'm well, actually surprised. Yes, but go on. If if I summed it up to one word, it would be freedom because I mean, you 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 interact with people, 
right? Mm-hmm. And and um, you come to them with an open mind as a human being, right? And try to just, yeah. you know, talk. And what happens is you begin to find out that they have these very structured notions of how things are supposed to be. I think mm. that's the the cultural, the, the, the convenient mesh of culture and religion, right? That they've been mm, indoctrinated yeah. to follow, right? Yeah. So when you, when you talk to them, first they're surprised about how well you can relate to them because they think you shouldn't have any idea of what they're talking about. Yeah. You know? yeah. So second is, this is, look, this is, it, how in God's name I, do you exist in the first place? Like, how did this happen? It's a betrayal to what everything they know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. so it's, it's it's, you, you're walking around looking like an alien, like you know. You're trying to. You sometimes you have to explain yourself. You have to explain your origins. But out of, mm. over a while, you know, I grew. How do you say? You grew to the point where it's also it's also it's sort of um, an opportunity for you to accept yourself, right? If you're not yeah. careful, when you, when you pull these lines, you can so easily begin to develop some sort of you know low esteem or whatever because it's like everybody's questioning you. You know, yeah. you always have to keep defending yourself and whatnot. But yeah, it's, yeah. It, it, there's 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 an opportunity. There's a very golden opportunity for you to see the, you know, the the, the very very rare opportunity you have to be your own individual, right? Mm. Like your parents, even without knowing, gave you. You know, so these are some of the blessings I count, right? In, when I encounter I, I think people, that's, that, I think that's an interesting view. And I think that that is peculiar to the way that you were brought up with such openness. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, right. because you had two people who were who respected each other. And they other. were exposed from the get-go. Yeah. So when they yes. came together, it was like, why not? Like, do you get, I have parents who were exposed. Yes. I'm also exposed. My children should also be able to... To enjoy, to enjoy that, themselves, that enjoy that freedom. exposure, enjoy that freedom. Abu, you know, you know something interesting I found out? I mm-hmm. found out that Abu's dad yeah. used to, like, take his mom oh. even to church, like, go drop her. And, you know, there was that yep. mutual respect, yes. respect going on. Yes. Like, you yep. do your thing. It's okay. Yeah. Yes. I, I really like that. I love That's that very a true. lot. That's very true. Yes. And but, we, we did but, it for a few girlfriends, but they got scared. They ran away. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I went to Shiloh. I went to Shiloh. Me that like this. I went to Shiloh. You went I'm to Shiloh. I went to Shiloh. To Shiloh. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, the whole nine yards. I've I been to Catholic church. Forget that Abu went to Shiloh. Did you go? I'm telling you. Was, was was looking for a wife part of your prayer request? I have. I went go. there with. I went there with an ex girlfriend. So maybe she was trying to. You know, commit me. This guy, uh, she's oh, going there to pray for her. You're trying to commit you to the Lord. You carry my handkerchief, carry my hand. Started praying seriously. I said, What is going on here? Oh my goodness, this is actually funny. Oh my God. Hello. <laughs> You know, you, know, you, know, you know, the funny thing about this conversation we're having is everything Abu says, I want to check in with his parents and find out how did you feel about Abu. I want to know what your dad's o- o- opinion about yeah. it was. He'll be like, Tom. you know, your dad, I, I can imagine your dad being the free person that he was. Yes. He'll just be like, yeah, well, your mom will just be like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Spot I don't know on. I, 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 you are so right. Newsflash, you are so right. That's exactly the response you get. <laughs> No, exactly. I, I honestly, I love your parents, and I love how you were raised in that sort of environment. Mm-hmm. So I feel I like you are an example of one that worked. You know, yeah. an yeah. intercultural yes. marriage that yeah. worked out because it yes. had mutual yes. understanding, mutual respect for each other. I mean, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. beyond everything else, those details mm-hmm. are are things that we can see that worked out. But what mm-hmm. what what is something that you disliked about it? What is something that you wish? Yes. Yeah. Human beings are human beings, last last. So there were oh, there are times when there are times when um 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 again coming from my place of understanding at the time because I mean you're a kid and you want your friends to get along so yeah. well. There were there were elements of and mind you, I didn't mention this earlier. I'm from a polygamous home. Wow. Right. So yes, okay. yes. So you know, again, women and the need to maybe compete. I'm not going to speak too much on that. It's not my business. I don't know. But what I know is, <laughs> what I know is that it's really uh, not your true. business. Exactly. It is not. It's not my business. 
for, for, for what I know, what I know, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what I know, is, what, are you serious? What I know is, is that look, <laughs> what I know is look, uh, uh, there were moments where like my mom couldn't, uh, you know, as much as she wanted to, she couldn't appeal to, you know, to the northern side, right, so yeah. much. But, but, and even, even in those moments, right, she would seek clarity from my, from my dad. And this is me just being vulnerable. She would yeah. seek clarity from my dad. And my dad wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be able to give her, you know, um, the, the, the level of clarity that she would have needed. And I think, I think as a, as a woman, most of the reassurances you will need will have to come from your husband. From your you get husband. what I mean? It's not, yes, not necessary. That's very from, true. Not that's necessarily very from true. siblings, from his siblings or whatever. It has to come mm-hmm. from him. And once yes. you can provide those answers, right, sometimes you get in your feelings and whatnot and you begin to lash out and then, you know, they yeah. may be um, um, even little ridiculous clashes. I can understand clashes. you so much. I'm sorry, Dabu. I understand. <laughs> Right. People ask me, how, how do you, how, why should you, people, thank you very, by the way, people ask me, come, you're not married, why are you talking about this thing, you're talking about something you know nothing about, but thank you, you no, I mean, but exactly, like, you, you saw right. this thing first time, so, you experienced right. it first you know? time, so it makes a whole right. lot of sense, I mean, what he said is so true, we are not talking about marriage today, yeah, but if you yeah. actually want any reassurance in your marriage, it's really not going to come from outside your home. It's yeah. going to be with the first person that you, t- you took a vow with, yeah. the person who assured you yeah. to love you yeah. and everything. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So that was yeah. something that you felt that you wanted, that you, you disliked or you would have wanted to change? Um, um, so so I, I, there were moments where I disliked it. And again, it came from my place of understanding at the time that, you know, yeah. You want everything to be so picture perfect. What you're looking for as a, oh, as a yeah. growing kid is you want the perfect fairy tale. Everything has to be all blissful and, you know, all nice and dandy. But the yeah. reality is it's not like that, you know. Yes. You have to go through these patches where, you know, hmm. it's, you have to find that balance, right? And they were yes. learning. And this is stuff you understand now as an adult. That, look, it's your choices at the end of the day. Right? Yes. It's your ability to understand that this person is in is in it with you for the long haul. Um, especially yeah. now in this, this day and age where people have so little patience. Right? Mm. People have to know that look, you have to find a way to you know to create a make balance. You have to find a way to, mm. to make it work. As far as you, you went in front of God and you took a vow, right? Yes. Whether it's in a Christ, in a Christian way or whether it's in an Islamic way, you don't take it for granted. Even if you have the same weight. Yes. Right. So if you if yes. you try to be patient, and your try to be be your bond. Exactly. What you find is the root cause of some of these misconceptions or arguments are tiny bits of misunderstanding. And the minute you are able to be patient enough to work through these things, you will find common ground. It's that easy. Mm. I mean, it's not it's not as easy as it sounds, but I mean, you know, you get the you get the yeah. Point. That's that's pretty much the theory. Abu, Abu, I'm curious, please. Yes. I, I, I'm sorry, yes. I like to go off, off sometimes. I want to ask you, I'm just curious. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. My uncle yeah. was a soldier. He had two boys. Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, he's mm-hmm. my mom's uncle, so he's my granduncle. Okay. So he had two boys. And every day, if you, if you messed up, he was in the military, he had no wife, you know, mm-hmm. uh, towards the end of his life. Mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> if he woke up this morning and you messed up, he would say, Mm-hmm. You're you're such a stupid boy. Like, sorry for, for saying. Like, he would be like, oh, you you know, he would drop the, the 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 word and be like, I'm taking you off the next of kin, and he would go to the <laughs> bank and just remove you from next of kin. Oh and then uh-uh. the next day, if you were good, if the other guy messed up, he would be like, you're such a foolish boy. I'm removing you. Oh, so I'm kin. just imagining. Did you ever like children of um uh, inter inter a religious home. Yeah. Do you guys pull that right. trick? Like, even if you don't say it in your mind, do you do like, "Daddy is mean. I'm going to be a Christian today. Mommy is mean. Oh, I'm going mom. to be Muslim tomorrow." Like, right? Like, do you pull that? Well, that, of, ever well, that ever thing? Eh, for me, let me see. <laughs> the only time, 
Only time that thing worked, I won't lie, I won't lie. There was a time, there was a time that spring, spring, spring five times a day, that thing was hard, man. So, <laughs> when you do, I said, see, come. Now, the same God we deserve. I just need them. Our Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for today. We bless you because, Lord, you have said in your scripture, this, that, that, you will quote scripture. Say, Father, this, that, 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 in Jesus' name. One day, I'll pray like that, man. So, you are using your faith to threaten your parents. Ah, there was a day. Wait now, hold on. There was a day <laughs> I was praying like that. I did not know when my father was standing behind me like this. He sat on the door, just looking at me. When I finished, <laughs> and the man, the way the man was, was he never really, he wouldn't hit you. Do you understand? Or he would never shout or whatever. So let's look. You finish. Sam. Yeah. This okay was enough for you to know what to do with yourself. You understand? He walked away. That was. <laughs> You know, so but in any case, I didn't. I didn't have much of a problem, to be honest. I didn't. Yeah. Um, okay, Abu. You know what? Oh, we are losing Abu again. Once again, Abu's network is doing. Abu, your network thing. is doing its thing again. So this is the travails of living in Nigeria. <laughs> Nepa, I don't know. Network. Nepa had to do their thing, and now network, network has to. Abu, can you hear us now again? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I, I okay, got you back. Yeah. I can hear yeah. Abu. If you can hear Abu, please, can you send please let us know in the comments? Put your favorite emoji. Okay, Abu, you know what? We'll quickly wrap this up. I had a yeah. fun time. Like, yeah. I, we are going to do this again, Abu. I want you to come back so we can talk about something, that, that, something that is really exciting. I feel like you're such an amazing... You know, you have such... Um, Thank you. Kind of, you're, you are very articulate about these things. Yeah. And I really love it. Yeah. But I want to wrap it up. And so I want you to tell us one thing, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to mm -hmm. tell me... Let's, let's talk about what you think are the factors that really discourage people from... Yes. From being able to be supportive. Oh. And, what, what, and give a final word, you know, to people whose friends, whose families... Um, I know there may be parents here, there may be friends of, of who who have people who are in intercultural relationships. Yeah. So you start first with um why you know, do you think why do you think people it? don't want to support these things? And or what are the factors? And then what would you have to say to those people? Okay. So 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 I remember when you started, you talked about um Nigeria not, you know, the intent behind Nigeria was not to make it a country, right? It was, it was it's, a, it's a business. Nigeria really is a business. It's trade. It just amalgamated different protectorates and made, you know, trade routes to the coast. And that was basically yes. what it did, right? And yes. on every side, what you had was different people with their different mindsets and their different cultures, right? And when we, mm -hmm. when we got independence, what happened was... Oh yay! We can rule ourselves, but you're not looking at next man like, are you most are you superior to me, or yeah. do we have the same goal? So there was <laughs> suspicion. You get know what I mean? There's a whole lot of suspicion. There's a whole lot of um, superiority, yeah. right? So you yeah. you look at the next tribe like you don't measure up. You don't. I shouldn't be mingling with you. You get what I mean? And wow. what what happens yes. is within this illusion of democracy right what you're having is more um, reasons you know to to create madness right and mm. what the, like in my own little opinion right what i feel um would help all of us speak the same language i think there's there's um, an adage that goes if you want to speak to a man if you want to if you want to speak to a person's heart that you speak in his language right mm. so yes. if you if if each of us have literally the same you know sort of level of understanding right L language i'm not being by language i'm not being too literal i mean like in terms of your yes. background in terms of yes. the shared history right in terms of if we that, share uh, some commonalities like in terms right, of how commonality right, yes. right that look uh, my mom is from Akwaibo. my father is from then we, you, your mother is from somewhere, your father is from, you understand? And that happens in a huge majority. What you have is a whole lot of hybrids looking around like, okay, now we have problems that are beyond this thing called culture, this thing called, you know, um, segmented cultures, right? Yeah. Our problems are now common, and it's easier for us to have a national identity. 
Yes. You understand? So we can it's yes. within that sphere you can categorically say we oh, are in Nigeria for what in Nigeria stands for. It's no longer yes. Igbo Yoruba Hausa. You understand? And within mm-hmm. it's within that same sort of scene you can begin to really appreciate, you know, the the beauty and the diversity. Oh, you take this part of Igbo, you take this part of Benue, you take this part of, you know, the real the Hausa for what Hausa are. Yes. You take this part of maybe uh the uh, Beron people, these just people. You take this part of, you know, Everything makes to this beautiful pot of jollof rice, and we're all very happy. Yeah, <laughs> Nigerian jollof. Nigerian jollof. I mean. so, <laughs> right. So, if I had any words for anyone, um, I would tell a lot of people live in fear. Mm-hmm. Right, they're scared of what's on the other side. So I tell you, think of the possibilities. Stop dwelling in fear. Hmm. Think of right. the possibilities Wisdom. and stop. Wisdom. Stop dwelling on the fear. <laughs> We we, 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 we're not we were in class we're not kneeling down outside we're inside class when they are teaching us we try we try we try small small Oh, oh Hafsa, I actually saw your previous comment she said he's an old soul I think you are an old soul yeah I'm yes a... yes, oh, well. yes. You know, actually, no. which thing that they calculate I'm sure he's like uh, yeah, I don't mind him and so age. I would love to you know my... that. Don't worry. Is that true? I will, I will, I will love to calculate my... <laughs> it, it doesn't make me less of a prospect. I'm still coming for you after this. Ah, wow. Shut your shots. Shut back. Yeah, I, I'm, still very I'm, still, I'm still very young. I'm still very young. I'm still very young. You can't, can't, be, you can't be looking like this causing problem. I'm still coming for you. I'm still coming for you. Get in, get it's me on this leg. Right yes, I'm, now. I'm glad that this, about <laughs> 17 people are bearing me with me today. So in case yes. it ends up working out, we'll all say we saw when this started. This uh, is uh, our record. Look at, look, at us, look at that smile. I mean, look at that smile. How many, how many guys have made this smile like that? How many people have made this smile like that? Let's start this intercultural thing DM. from here. Actually, Let's oh, start this intercultural thing from, from here. Take it to the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> But I just want to say thank you so much for joining our live. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We are, we are grateful. We were entertained. We were educated. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank I don't you know, so much. I don't know. I thought I was able to pull myself together to end this well. Yeah. Everybody, if you, are, if, you, if, you are, if you stay to the end, we had such an insightful conversation, but we might just be watching the start of something new here. Huh? Yeah, you because might. You I never know. What's in the practical? Love. You never I know. Oh, love. that's no, my guy, no, Peter. No, 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 Bali. And with this and that, you don't know anything. You are, it can just hit you from anywhere. You don't know. You see, that's why all these Abi Ibo, Abi Yoruba, Abi Hausa. Right? Right? You still know they work. Exactly. And that's how. That's eh? just it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think. I think. Um, closing words <laughs> from you. From what I learned yeah. from you today mm-hmm. and from what we've conversed yeah. about is that yeah. beyond our culture, we are, we, are, we are one in terms of our humanity. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that yes. we should be focusing more on our similarities than our, than differences. our differences. Because mm-hmm. I think yes. that when we, when we begin to focus on the differences, there's going to be a problem. Also, in focusing more on our similarities, we should not blur out our differences because that's the beauty of the pot of jollof. Yes. You know, that's what adds to the spice and the flavor and all of that. So we shouldn't blur it out and go, oh, well, let's not, let's not talk about it at all because mm-hmm. the other person's yeah. culture is just as important as, as your yours. culture. Mm-hmm. So I think yeah. that's what I learned and I'll forever cherish that. I will thank you so much for being thank on our you. lives. To everybody who stayed to thank the you. end, you guys thank are the you. real MVPs. Thank you so much. Koma Club is on Instagram, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Um, we're, on we're on Twitter. Twitter. We're on YouTube. All please. Koma Club NG. All, all our NG. All our videos are going to be on rounded our, off there. We'll put on them there on our YouTube. Interesting. And love. more intre- interesting videos are going to be there because we can't put everything on on you know, on Instagram. Uh, Instagram. So go to our YouTube. We're trying to get up to two hundred subscribers <laughs> by the end of the year. You guys, you rock. Please go subscribe.
and thank you, Abu. Comment, please, like, thank you so much. This conversation thank going. So Remember, Koma Club sure. is all about uniting Nigeria by, you know, blurring out the things that divide us. And one of those things, which is what we should be celebrating, actually ends up becoming what divides us. So. Please, guys, keep the conversation going and keep an open mind. Like Abu said, we should not be moved by, or we should not be motivated by our fear. Fears, but we should be motivated by the possibilities. Thank you so much, Abu. Thank you, Abu, and thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye. See you Bye. next week, Friday. Yes, till then. Bye. Oh, she kissed you, Abu. See, see, we, we can't get no, 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 no. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, so I had so much yeah. fun, you guys. <laughs> Bye. Okay, 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 you're going to save it, right? Yeah.